All right, we're going to recap the day. We've been looking at the uh, second standard deviation target through the course of this week. We made mention as of yesterday on Thursday that we were very surprised to have failed to reach even the first standard deviation mark, let alone the second, making today's likelihood almost a certainty that we were going to hit the set second standard deviation mark. And that's because we keep track of it. We keep track of every day and every week where that level is reached. Now, this is a little bit hard to see, but uh, over here in this column, all right here, is the number of times each week the second standard deviation level is reached. Today, it failed. But prior to this, we have one, two, three instances where this occurred in the last 14 months. Only three other cases in the last 14 months where the second standard deviation level failed to be reached at least once during the week. Okay, so that means next week, <laughs> it's a certainty. We're gonna hit it, but we just don't know when. So we're gonna have to watch our indicators very carefully. And once you breach the first standard deviation mark, then your probability of going to the second one is going to be much greater. It could happen Monday, it could happen Tuesday or Wednesday, but it will happen. Statistically, there's never been a case where two weeks in a row it failed to do that. So we've got some real high probability trades shoving up for next week. All right, let's look at some general aspects of our trading. Um, on this, well, let's, let's look at the uh, ashes first. Let's look at the... All right, so as you're following the ASHI guidelines, right out of the gate this morning, we were short, we, we actually shorted the market uh, earlier, right up a little after seven o'clock. We came down, hit the initial low in the first, uh, almost the first half hour. And then the Ashes start telling us we're going back up and back up we did. So you're shorting this on the way down, but you're looking for long trades now as the long trades using reverse divergent slam into one of the Ashes. That's the good time to get in. Okay, this is premature right here. It works, but it's a little premature. Here's better. Okay, so now you're holding that trade until you see normal divergence develop, okay? Now, you don't see that real clearly here until you got a lower high here and here. But all the same, if you waited, then you're taking reverse divergence shorts as this is beginning to turn. And you get a nice initial trade here, some other ones in here, here, over here as well. And you write that down, and you get some really nice, really nice moves until the ashes begin to turn again. Now they're turning right in here, but yeah, this is still good. Yeah, I want to short that, short that. But now over here, you got to go long. And long you get but it just keeps right on moving. So this continues moving into the afternoon. You're not going to see on this chart these highs with a short because those are not going to be reverse divergence. So you got reverse divergence over here on the way up, 
Uh, here's a little questionable, but right in here, that's that's real good. Uh, right in here, the big risk because the ashes are turning. Over here, I take it only because you're still expecting this market to turn down, which it does, but it doesn't get down as far as you expect. So on the other hand, you know, you want to look for regular uh, normal divergence all the way up to give you an opportunity to get into these shorts. Um, you get it here and here, 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 here. They all, we just nail it. We just nail it. All right. So look for next week to hit the second standard deviation band. Hope you have a good weekend. This is Rod Kusinen for Risk.